on this wonderful edition of the program. We are here in the street to get the views of Nigerians on pertinent issues that is happening in the country today. Be thank you to all that have subscribed to Flip TV and also those that have been uh, lively on our comment section. Be thank you to everyone wherever you are in Nigeria and also in the world. I have my excellent, committed, wonderful reviewers here, analysts here with me this morning. And it's a very, very big pleasure, a good pleasure to have them within us. We are here on the streets to get the views of Nigerians on what is happening in the country today. And let's uh, move uh, straight into the newspaper headlines this morning. I have with me the Nigerian Tribune, with me the Nigerian Tribune this morning. And I also do have the nation's newspaper. Above the masthead of the nation's newspaper, ICPC invites SIG. DG budgets, others, ICBC invites SIG, DG budgets, and others. Police trust fund under probe. Police trust fund under probe. Uh, IPOB stops pupils from sitting for WIAC exams in Southeast. IPOB stops pupils from sitting for WIAC exams in Southeast. APC State Congress hold. October 2nd, uh, Fitch upgrades Lagos government to AAA rating. Fitch upgrades Lagos record to AAA rating. Happy court president, judges pay poor. Happy court president saying that judges pay poor. Judi judiciary underfunded. Judiciary underfunded. MBA panel to probe lawyers over conflicting rulings. MBA panel uh, to probe lawyers over conflicting uh, rulings. Implore the government of the Federation and states to urgently review the salaries and allowances of judicial officers and staff uh, to increase uh, and also to increase allocations. Okay, uh, COVID-19, 25 dead in Lagos in three days. COVID-19, 25 dead in Lagos in three days as passengers uh, kidnapped in Equity State. Passengers kidnapped in Equity State. I look at the picture of uh, a Federal Safety uh, Commission uh, officer, officer inspecting one of the properties affected by flood at Trade More Estate, Lugbe, in Abuja. Uh, cars have been plunged into the gutter uh, as a result of flood. Panic in FCT, Quara Equity, over 240 fleeing inmates. Panic in FCT, Quara and Ekiti, over 240 fleeing inmates. Gunmen kill soldier and policeman in Kogli prison. Uh, tag. Let's look at the story this morning. Okay, three, uh, there was anxiety yesterday in the Federal Capital Territory and six states sharing boundaries with Kogi State. The panic led to heightened security following Sunday's night gunmen attack on the correctional facility in Kabakogi, resulting in the escape of 240 inmates. The whereabouts of the inmates, some of them condemned hardened uh, criminals are unknown, causing fears that they might be headed to neighboring states. The Kogi government has also raised the security to red alert, seeking information on the movement of the escapees. Police in Kwara, Edo, Oshu, Ekiti, and Niger have taken measures to secure the states and boundaries. In the FCT, in the FCT force police spokesperson Frank Mbai, Commissioner of Police, said the force had activated all its operation and intelligence platforms in pursuit of the SKPs. Mbaya told one of our reporters uh, that all hands are on deck to arrest uh, the SKPs. Okay, let's look at uh, the Nigerian Tribune. Bandit sets house of Zamfara speaker ablaze. Bandit set house of Zamfara speaker ablaze. Lagos records 25 COVID-19 related deaths, 401 infections in three days. Lagos records 25 COVID-19 deaths, 401 infections in three days. Pregnant woman, 15 others die in Edo. Federal woman, 15 others die in Edo state. Over 7,000 nurses leave Nigeria for greener pastures yearly. Over 7,000 nurses leave Nigeria for greener pastures yearly registrar. APC rescheduled state congress for October 7th. APC reschedules state congress for October 2nd. And Kitoye's group wants world leaders to declare Miet Allah terrorist group. Akintoye's group wants world leaders to declare Miet Allah terrorist group. First Bank wins Private Bank of the Year Award. First Bank wins Private Bank of the Year Award. Kogi prison attack. Gunmen kill policeman, soldier, free 266 inmates. FG alerts Interpol. Gunmen kill policeman, soldier, free 266 inmates. FG alerts Interpol. Gas explosion rocks UNN hostel, two students injured. 
gas explosion rocks UNN hostel, two students injured. Anambra governor moves to banks, uh, markets to stop IPOB sit at home order. Anambra governor moves to banks, markets to stop IPOB sit at home order. ESCC arrests 114 for oil bunkering. Internet fraud in rivers open. Edo. Flood ravages Abuja Estate. Kills four. Destroys cars, houses. Flood ravages Abuja Estate. Kills four. Destroys cars, houses. 75 abducted Zamfra. Students gain freedom. Gunmen attack travelers in Ekiti. Abduct four. Kill 12 in Kaduna. Let's look at the story in the Nigerian Tribune on Anambra governor making moves to banks and market in order to stop IPOB sit at home order. Remember, today IPOB has organized a sit at home order in the whole of South East over the death of IPOB members that were killed during the onslaught on the group. Let's look at page five of the Nigerian Tribune. This one in page five of the Nigerian Tribune this morning. Against the backdrop of the indigenous people of Biafra sit at home order in the southeast, the residents of Imo State on Monday shifted ground by returning to their usual daily business activities without fear of molestation and harassment. While vehicles flooded the roads, businesses, fast food centers, artisans, roadside traders, supermarkets, and mobile food vendors operated freely. Although businesses at the major markets were not at their peak, a reasonable percentage of buying and selling took place as commercial motorcycle riders ferried passengers to their various destinations on Hinnan. This was just as Governor Willie Obiano of Anambra State led the enforcement campaign as a counter move against IPOB's, IPOB's directive on sit at home protests to compel the federal government to release its leader, Namde Kanu, from detention. The state in the last five weeks has witnessed a shutdown in one Monday leading to a directive by Obiano to business owners, banks, and market leaders to resume duties uh, or risk or risk sanction. Okay. Let's have a review here this morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Christian. I think it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, SMV yeah, across the globe. Uh, uh, you have any issues? Uh, any issues personally you want to raise this morning? Uh, or what is happening in the country? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, really that something that is going on, and uh, I think the management should try as much as possible to fix that uh, issue. And uh, it doesn't went down with me. And uh, every injustice, perceived injustice to anyone, is injustice to all. It must not directly affect me. But the issue, one of them, the reviewers even called me, and that I have to make it clear that uh, why was he said that uh, he d discovered that uh, in the course of few weeks back uh, the the uh, GoFundMe uh, the analyst uh, whatever was brought down in respect to the reviewers. I said I'm not uh, interested and I'm not aware of whatever happens. I believe the management has the prerogative to either add or bring down whatever they want to do. But as it borders on uh, my own concern is that uh, comment section, we are not placing any pressure on anyone. And if the reviewers deem it necessary to contact us or to have anything to discuss with individuals on individual basis, I see no reason why uh, uh, people or the reviewers should be denied the opportunity to do that. So, it leaves no one but uh, the option to begin to doubt the credibility of this system or platform, which I know that uh, the management in person of uh, Mr. Biodo Popoli will not tolerate whatever that we, of course, uh, dent the image or reputation of the company which uh, the company has enjoyed over the years. So. Whatever that needed to be done should be ratified, and uh, I believe that such occurrence will not happen again. No it's very unfortunate. We'll see, see to we'll see to uh, bandits that were chased from Niger State, they are saying most of them are coming to the south. They are fleeing south. Uh, that means we need to be on alert because there might be a security situation uh, in the south. Security uh, concern is 
a paramount and one of the most uh, fundamental or uh, primary responsibility of everyone. And uh, as it sounds now in this supposed contraction, uh, no government can guarantee the security and safety of the entire citizenry. And uh, it's now, uh, it's left now on the citizen to decide whatever happens to them. And uh, of course, uh, the government has failed the people, and uh, unfortunately, it is now uh, the duty of every person or region to protect the integrity of their regions. So I can't see any reason why the government and the instrument of the states will be busy killing innocent people, moving their troops, battalions, armored cars down east. What are they doing there? You see? They left the porous uh, 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 region, a volatile region, and uh, what are they doing in the east? Busy killing. It's not the volatile region. Huh? IPOB you don't compare that IPOB are not violence. It sits at home and out of violence. It's a diplomatic uh, approach in conversing or demanding for what, which is, of course, their political protected opinion. IPOB stopped pupils from sitting for WAIC exams in South East Asia State. That is what, that is just the handwork of Nigerian uh, media. Jo journalists, media. They have been paid to do such damage. IPOB cannot enforce anybody to go or to sit at home. But you have to use your initiative because it is about the people's voice. This is not just the government because the government has failed the people. And now it behoves on the people to start the way forward. And by the way, you are taking for exams, you are sitting for exams. I, I've told you that for, between 1967 to 1970, there was no, the school was disrupted within the southeastern or old eastern region. People never went to school. And then after, the region is still leading in academic uh, pursuit and academic uh, achievement and attainment. You see? So you have to sacrifice. It is somebody that is alive that will go to school. So I don't encourage any parent with sense of reasoning to allow their wards or children to at the mercy of whatever happens to them. What are you, exam? Which exam? You will, most we have millions of graduates roaming the streets. You see? So how can you endanger your own life at the at the expense of uh, whatever you want to do? It is it is not a missing your exam does not is is not a crime. It's not a, a, a death sentence. So you have to first of all is so that you are alive and healthy. You're, you are secured before you can go for exam. So you have ample opportunity as much as unfortunately you, with the system is already has already collapsed. Even after writing the exams and all that, we are, what is the future? We are, will you be given the opportunity to better the, the, your own life or to be gainfully employed? So the fundamental issue is that the system is no more. So the people have to chart their way forward. If the people, the government belongs to the people. The governor is just an extraction, is, is one among the majority of the people. So there is no way the government should detect for the people, especially when the interest of the people are, is not protected at this point. Whatever useless government, call it the federal government and the state government, is, is inconsequential. That all has failed in the primary responsibility of protecting life and property, of making life better for the citizenry. The best, the best news you can hear every day is the killing and the raiding and the manning of innocent people, somebody defenseless say, people. Saying that you should admit the fact that ESN is unknown gunman. I should admit the fact. Uh, he he wants to force it on me. You see, he has a right to his opinion, which is not binding on anyone, including I myself. So I have my own points of reasoning. And I reason objectively. 
the is ESN, look at the ESN is a child of necessity. ESN was born as a result of the uh, it, the rate of insecurity that is ravaging the entire region of the country. Then the Eastern region deem it necessary or the old Eastern region to to protect themselves, their farmlands. Otherwise, what is happening in Kogi State in other northern region would have been replicated in all this time region. Probably my mother wouldn't have been alive or she probably may have been uh, molested or raped and killed in her own farmland because that is her primary uh, life, source of life uh, sustenance at this time. So you never can tell the damage uh, uh, of course, the eastern region would have been cured if not for the ESM, the volunteer force would are willing, would volunteer themselves to protect their fatherland. They are not against any law abiding citizen of the states. But what they are against is the invasion of their own their own territory by the Fulani militias who are of course whose diabolic plan is to to destroy and take over people's ancestral homes, which, of course, must be vehemently resisted. Okay, uh, Akinto is group, that is uh, one of the agitators uh, uh, so, uh, in the urban nation. He said, uh, he wants world leaders to declare me a la terrorist group. What's your take on that? World leaders declare me a la That is a laudable uh, for, of course, uh, development, which, of course, even the state governors and the Presidents of this, the government of Nigeria have not in any way, on in any sense, uh, seen the wrong, uh, the heinous crime perpetrated by the headers militias as a crime against humanity. So the government uh, is, of course, should not be absorbed of the uh, complicity of what is happening in this country. Look at the, the killings and manning of Christians across the entire region. You see, and the promoting of uh, Islamic uh, caliphates. It is a clear indication that the government, look at, there is a bill now on National Assembly, which has passed the first and second reading, and now is at the level of committee. You see, this is a very demonic or devilish uh, legislative uh, uh, bill which we clamp down on every institution, NGOs, and even individuals, that you don't have right to own your own money or to have a group of this, uh, what you call Akawo, Dachi Dachi, without once you, a group contribution. You must seek the consent of the government from Abuja before you make use of your daily contribution. But the church, and the target I know is the church. The target is to Islamize the entire region. So if this bill is allowed to scale through, which I doubt it will, I mean, there is problem for everyone. Would and the better we accept that, the better for us. The better we rise against, of course, that demonic uh, bill, the better for everyone. Declaring them terrorists, would it solve insecurity in this country? Of course, it is long. It is long overdue. It's long overdue. It is much anticipated. Now that the government, the, the world leaders had made position known, that defines the way forward. But by implication, Martin Nandikano has been justified. I mean, the entire world, and including the government and the the foolish and useless uh, southeastern governors, should tender on reserve apology to. The, his Excellency Mazi Nandikano on this premise that the world leaders have now recognized the Filani militias as the most deadliest terrorist group, which, of course, the entire um, Southeast governors have been living in self deception. Now they have no other place to hide. Mazi Nandikano is now justified. So there is no other reason why he should be detained. This man should be released and let him go. Because they have no any cause of, or any reason to hold him behind the bar. Otherwise, unless they are of course looking for the destruction that is already uh, uh, ahead of them, before them. Okay, someone is asking a question. I am curious. Do you see it three square meals a day in Nigeria? Hi, Buri. Hi, Buri. Ten. I'm curious. 
Do people still eat three square meals in, in uh, Nigeria? I had one of us discussing that uh, one of the respected reviewers said, what can it do for the people, for the reviewers and do that? I said, why, why are you, uh, you can even suggest uh, 10,000 naira, I think, will be appreciated if that uh, $10,000 if given to us. Yes, of course, uh, the level of hardship um, is unbearable. You see, that's why of recent you have the, the reports, even by the Nigerian uh, media, that the rate of uh, 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 suicide, uh, suicidal uh, events are too much. At, exponential increase is it asking for whether people still eat uh, three meals a day is in material you're over there if you know what you can do for the people why they see uh, have breathed within them don't hesitate to do that you should see for yourself look at what is happening there is no job the food sometimes you so it might leave somebody psychologically tortured as a family man, you may want to see what do I do, what do I do? In fact, you can just develop grey hairs and uh, as even your just middle 40 or that. People are dying on daily basis. There's no food, there's no sustenance, and the farmlands have been turned to feeling kids, killing feed. So where can the farmers assess their farm? That is the position the Eastern Security Network wants to maintain that we must keep our farmland safe so that we cannot be destroyed or be at the mercy of a station as a result of hunger. Because that is another, of course, uh, 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 policy they have adopted. If they don't kill us by sword, they will come after us through hunger, through famine, which, of course, we must resist we must vehemently resist at this time. This is a moment of desperation. If you have any, uh, of course, gesture of extension of kindness, uh, you may want to, or arm, you may want to extend uh, to every, any one of us. Do that because you never can know that by doing that, you are saving a life. And I must appreciate uh, 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 Masi Fanny, of course, I must appreciate every one of you. Uh, Mommy Yerima, may the good Lord bless you. And every one of you, Mr. Kennedy, Kenneth, Kevin, and uh, the whole list of you, which may not be mentioned, who has been uh, extending that uh, gesture of love. We appreciate you. Thank you for supporting our page. Because when she supports any one of all, you are supporting his or her page. And I must appreciate you for your understanding and uh, giving the opportunity to express my grievances in respect to what transpired yesterday. Okay, thank you very much. Final thoughts. Uh... The youths, Northern youths should hold the Northern political elite responsible. They should begin to ask fundamental questions that borders on the welfare of the Northern youths and posterity. You get to ask the North, Northern political elite, what happens to your granite pyramid? You see, I went to, I've just uh, inquired about a granite, a paint of granite now. It's close to 5,000. A paint of granite, a paint of granite is 5,000. So what happens to your major source or stream of income in the 1970s and 1960s? Which of course Nigeria, the time and country depended on granite exportation as a major source of uh, income generation. So what happened to the granite pyramids? What happens to most of the killings and deaths that you, they, they say that is, a, is, is, is a unknown as a result of unguided uh, exploration of these mineral resources, which uh, of course allows, leaves some toxic uh, uh, outsides or chemicals to be exposed or maybe washed down to the waters and the government will be telling us that that they died as a result of undisclosed sickness so you begin to ask what is happening to the mining of gold who are those responsible who are those collecting the money why is it that the people could not benefit directly from this uh, produce of those uh, uh, 
revenues from their own Sanfara. Sanfara have been turned to a killing field that is well uh, known to the world. So thank God the best thing that has happened today is the sit at home going on in the eastern, old eastern region to uh, protest, of course, and uh, spread their grievances on the killings and the manners of the uh, veterans on the illustrious sons of the Father Lamb, which is ongoing today. I mean, the governor of the eastern region cannot help. They are helpless at this time. Why? Because the battle line has changed. People are now in control of their destiny. People want to move forward. And the governors, which are about barely five, in fact, Imo State has no governor. The, the leadership position is vacant, as far as I am concerned. Likewise, other uh, states, because the, when you go to Aba, you will know that we don't have government in Aba. We, we don't have, we have never had government in Aba, in Abia State. You see? Our major roads are dead traps and there is no erosion have taken over the entire even Rota's uh, community has been at, is at the mercy of erosion. And Rota's has to be the, the governor of Imoset for two consecutive terms of eight years. You see, these people have failed us and they have no part in the new movement uh, of course that is ongoing. Thank God that the people have risen to the occasion and we can no longer leave of course our destiny in the hands of this useless and discounted elements who are bent at exterminating us or conspiring with the northern caliphate or islamic Cali or Fulani caliphate to bring to an extension the evil race which of course must be resisted now you must have turned the apology to mazin nandikano who has been vindicated by the world leaders okay. by that position of of course proclaiming the Fulani uh, caliphate of the Fulani including Mustafa Buhari as a terrorist group yeah, okay, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Chikozi. Uh, it's very, very insightful of you. Okay, we have uh, people uh, reviewers here this morning. They are here uh, to add their views, but there is a, a, a little. Just give us time. Okay, if you want to support any of the reviewers, you can also reach any of them, and also you can also uh, make your your request. Uh, very visible. Uh, you can also reach me on Flip TV. You can reach me on Facebook at uh, Chuku Christian. Chuku Christian on Facebook. See my picture there. If you want to reach them uh, this morning. Hi, Mr. Kunle. Mr. Kunle, good morning. Yeah, good I, I, morning. Know, I, know, I know there's an agitation. As I there, see there's an agitation, and I'm not really happy. What you are complaining of, we shouldn't be trying it here. Why can't the diaspora people be requesting our friends, our, you know, be our friends over there, be requesting for our number, and they'll be deleting it because you don't even know how connect they have to us. Some are even seeing their friend through this medium to even ask of them for a while. You will delay the number. What the nonsense is going on? Maybe we they, stay maybe, here. Maybe we, which kind of technical? More te one technical, many, many, many technical to come. It's more one, one issue, more problem. One issue every day. One technicality every day. Why that? It's unfair. It's unfair. For God's sake, it's unfair. They should stop that. They should stop that. We are here. Rain season, sun, everything. You know, fighting for the liberty of the people, and you we will get our the, suppose to do our our diaspora friends. We connect us that because if the country is not well, nobody will be able to come to this country. But at the same time, we are risking our life. The any security agency can come around now. We are like orphans as we are here. So what's the problem? I don't know where this problem is coming from. If it is your technical issue, or if it is intention, uh, your intentional, you know action you're doing on us is quite unfair i have to say the truth say the truth truth is bitter but i have to say it okay we resolve it we resolve the issue just uh, be patient with us we resolve the one issue. technical issue too many yeah. one technical issue too many somebody's saying that he's uh, he's asking do nigerians feed three times a day no i don't feed three times a day as i am now and the little help i'm getting they are blocking it for me what's the problem I don't feed three times. How many people can afford three times food in a day now? How many people go to the market? You see all these market prices are so high, they're so high higher. And then what, 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 are we, what are we left with? We are even doing ourselves more. The government, the government we have that is, is even a government of selfishness, is a government of greed we have in this country, is a government of nepotism. They'll be doing their own and we still be doing our own underground. It's quite unfair. Okay, Mr. Tunaya is saying that even in UK he does not eat two, uh, two square meals.
That's where all this. And now, Mr. Uh, the man is to Niger in UK. I, I think maybe you are fasting over there. Is uh, maybe you just decide to diet yourself you, because UK everything is you know you have one pound shop you have any you know if you owe one pound you feed yourself food is not their problem over there there's hunger in Africa so if you are telling me in Europe you don't feed for two days I totally disagree with you please okay let's uh, move and uh, panic the FCT Quara equity over 243 images uh, uh, at large we've seen that coming. We've seen that coming. The governor of Ekiti itself, we've seen him, is more or less an Abuja governor. He doesn't stay in this because he's the chairman of Governor's Forum. And as it is now, he doesn't even have time for his state again. And look at the Ekiti. They are, they, are, they are saying now, I'm about going to a kitty any moment now. And the problem now is, where is my security? Where am I going to, how am I going to be secured on that road? You could see now they kidnap some people along that road now. And they are infiltrating back to the southwest now. They are penetrating southwest back. So all those governors in southwest, they should wake up from the slumber. Because it's not their father seat they are sitting on. It is the people that put them there. And they should, they should secure the people. Their children are safe. If their children are going out, they have MOPO, they have escort, they have all the SPU. Uh, PASPU, Special Protection Unit that they attach to their children. So why are you leaving the masses at the mercy of bandits, at the mercy of terrorism? So at the terrorists. So the governors of the Southwest, especially, I'm sending this to them. They should be careful because the same people that vote them can revolt against them. That's just it. Can withdraw their vote back. You know, what you want to do to, 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 to gain second term in office or to get, uh, win another election, you have to start doing it. Uh, do the needful. I give kudos to Governor Akere Dolu uh, of uh, Ondo State. Kudos to, I don't know what uh, the Ogun State Town is doing. I don't know what the Osho is even silent. I'm not even hearing anything from the governor. But the one in Lagos should sit tight likewise because all these people, they are chasing away from the north. They are penetrating towards south now. They, 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 there's heavy bomb, bombing upon all those terrorists there in their forest. So they should be careful. All those governors should be careful. Right? They should be careful. Because we voted them. It's not their by the power they got to that seat. Let us tell them, oh, ha. And I think they are listening to this message. They are not their slave. And they, can, they cannot leave us to be killed. Because they are there to pro protect us. Governor is always the chief security of the state. As they said, he has everything. He has he collected security. What's it called? So that's why I'm just saying that. Even uh, those ones that are fleeing from Niger, they say they are fleeing to the south. Definitely. Uh, bandits are terrorists. Definitely. They are, they are fleeing to the south here. Yeah. So we need to be careful in all the people that are coming. They don't, I don't even think they profile people from the border of, of, of each state that they enter. They are just getting people killed easily. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. Even the security men that they are doing the job, they, I think they are overwhelmed. They are overwhelmed, yes. That is the Nigerian security. Nigerian securities are overwhelmed. Look at, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kogi prison there. For them to even break into the Kogi prison and release 240 inmates. Is that not a big shame, man, for the country? Is that not a big shame? The, the, the bandit did their own. The other time they invaded NDA and they went off free. We've not heard anything on, the, on those issues again. Why? Is it a cause to be born in this country? Or is it a cause to stay, to be a Nigerian? They, they, should, they should tell us if it is a cause. And I believe on judgment day, all of them will answer their query. They will face the, 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 the wrath of the God. And that is one thing I can assure them. Because if you do bad, there's judgment waiting for you. Because you are the leader. And a leader will come first. A leader will be we, we will be asked of what have you done to these people you lead. So it's more or less the, Pharaoh, the, the Moses that led Pharaoh, that led uh, Israelite out of the Pharaoh hand. What have you done to lead these people out of poverty? What have you done to, instead of you now, to concentrate on taking care of your people, taking care of your, they ask you to do road, you will not do road. The road is start killing people. You guys are flying over, all over, all over the world. You are flying even within the country because you've abandoned the road. So the road is meant for the common man like us. I'm trying I'm, I'm traveling any, any moment uh, this week now. I will be traveling. But the issue there is how secure I am. I'm even having phobia to even travel because I have an important engagement in the kitty now. I'm reading on newspaper now that four people have been abducted in the kitty. The travelers, they even call them travelers. They are not indigenous. The travelers are going to a kitty. So how do you want to attract investors to do your state? This governor should think, for God's sake. Equity governor. All of the governor should. 
have to strategize and think now and think out and, and uh, the, the, the man is so versatile in the security i think he did security course in, in, in school he was a trained security and i mean uh, expert uh, you know we knew him right from the nadeko issues okay. so why not be relaxing the state for the bandit to be kidnapping them I don't understand. I don't really understand. Kudos again to, uh, to Governor Akere Dulu in Ondo State. I'm not from Ondo State, but I'm giving kudos to him for his proactiveness that he's doing. That Ondo now, we don't even hear much of that again. The Oyo State now as well. He has to wake up from the slumber. For Gumen to come to Oyo State, and the governor was not even aware. To even, I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it's just a uh, nonsense. Okay, uh, let's look at 100 days of Twitter. Today is 100 days of Twitter ban in Nigeria. So uh, how have you, uh, how do you look at the whole uh, journey? Uh, the journey were, they, were they able to stop Nigerians from talking? They, if they've not, you, you can gag. Our, you can't you can gag our voice. You can only suspend Twitter. But you will not be able to gag our voices. Because once we are, you gag our voices, that means we are dead physically. You, you know, that is just it. Because if you black us out from the information, the global information, what do you expect from us again? And the majority of youths now that you don't provide job for, they use this information technology to better their life. You don't provide job and the, the youth are still creating job for themselves through IT. Mm. And you say you still want to gag the IT, you want to, you know, black out the IT. Twitter especially. You know how many millions people are making on Twitter alone. Now, where, where is those? And now you now turn those people to frustrated people. They will now turn to security again, the, uh, the, the, the terrorists again. And you now be blaming that uh, they don't know how the. It's the system that producing radicalism. It's the system that is producing terrorism in this country. The system is so bad to the people. Once you people get frustrated, what next? Okay. You know, they just go into to, 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 to crime. If you want to reduce crime, reduce hunger in this country, reduce unemployment, let the youth get engaged. I thought the last answers would have taught them a lesson. Those guys that protested in answers, they need to like profile them. Then you guys, this is the job we are creating for you. Any one of you that need a job, they are, they are everywhere, all around. Even going to Lagos, Ibadan, they are empty land. They can build factory. They can build factory, hon. People are ready to work, but where is the, where is the, where is the work? You people are just building event center, event center, event center all around. If you see anyone that leave the uh, uh, government position now, you will see his hotel, you will see event center. Is it event center that creates job? Is it event center? I mean, it's just a senseless thing. A majority of them are being abroad. They travel abroad. They travel overseas. They see how the system works there. But when they get here, they will, they will, they, 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 they will look the other way. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Okay, sorry, give me one minute. Uh, Mr. Chris Kola, uh, you say we should drop the numbers of uh, uh, the reviewers. Uh, I don't think that's a, a problem is from my part because me, sometimes I try to uh, drop a comment but it does not uh, reflect. So we we'll, we'll we, we, we reflect on it and know what we'll do. I myself, I try to uh, place a comment but it does not show. Uh, sometimes I put the number to call in but I don't see it on uh, on the live chat please so we can still drop the numbers uh, i have mr matthew good morning good morning mr christian um i don't i, I you, you have your own uh, bet do you um, have anything to say or you, let's move on no we'll move on but it's just a little remark okay uh good morning our etim viewers globally regarding the issue at stake personally i had engagement with the management of the media house precisely the MD of the media house. And by my understanding and from the feedback I got from him is that it's a technical issue and that they are working Hello. to resolve it. Okay. But with his consent and with his permission, he have given me approval to drop my number on behalf of reviewers, particularly in respect of one Mr. Bless Nikki, who says he wants to reach out to reviewers, and one uh, Kingsley Martins, who particularly demanded for my number. So for purpose of that, my phone number is 080-34-788-137. Again, 080-34-788-137. Then the other number is 070-899-5 is my number. The second number is 070-899-58243. For the last time, 070-899-5243. 58243. Thank you very much. So I hope 
all issues will be resolved and we have been having cordial relationship with the management of this media house and this is a platform that gives Nigerians the opportunity and leverage to express their opinion without being, without being gagged. So we hope that that cordial relationship will continue and we are always in constant uh, conversation with the media organization in terms of any controversy like this and I hope it will be resolved. So I ask viewers, please enjoy all the um, information you get from this platform. It's the best platform I can, for now, it's the best pl platform in Nigeria that do not gag the uh, youth, do not gag people. They allow you to air your opinion, irrespective of what, what your opinion seems to be. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, also, if you want to call in on the program, you can call 0815751 If you want to call in to comment on the program this morning, 0815751 uh, 0815751 I'll also put uh, the number also there so that you can see and call in on the program. Oh, it's very important that they know that there is a, an opportunity for them to call yeah. and add their own view. So for our viewers, in diaspora, in Nigeria, globally, anywhere you are, like you have said, you have heard the anchor, you can call in and make your own direct contribution. So thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, what we have today on uh, the newspapers. The influx of bandits from the Niger states, the plain bandits yes. to the south. Yes. Uh, they say it's, a, it's posing a security threat to the south. Do you see any replication of what happened in not in the south, especially the southwest? That is why there is need to be proactive. Before I forget, my name is Matthew once more. You see, there is need to be proactive. Because this reactionary um, attitude of government in terms of security issues is not the way to go. But good thing, I can understand that almost all the southwestern states through Amateku has spoken about the anticipation of inflows of um, bandits who have been flushed out of Zamfara, uh, Kaduna, Niger, the possibility of coming to the south. And I think the right thing to do is to be proactive. Because looking at the activities of these full and uh, sorry, these uh, bandits, okay. looking at how they have been wrecking havoc in all the states where they, uh, they have been operating, it's a good development that the government is not having an edge over them. Because the other day, we understand that even some fleeing bandits mistakenly ran into a military camp and the military de decimated them seriously. So for me, it's a work on development. I think the government, the army should sustain that operation. Because that is the only way we can be proud to say we have a, an armed forces, uh, we have the so mili military. The armed forces, the military, they are working. No, we can see the result now. Working. We can see the result now. What I'm saying is that they should sustain it. And they should not limit it to bandits. Because we have SSC, we have um, full enhancement, killer enhancement, who are almost in every strata of the society, in the bushes, forests, even in the southern um, part of the country, doing kidnapping for ransom. If you even look at it, the herders who are kidnapping, they are more of a terror than the bandits. Because the bandits are restricted to one or two or three states. Sorry for that. The bandits are restricted to one or two or three states. But if you see activities of headers, it is in almost every strata of the society because they come under the canopy of full and enhancement. Mm. And they filter to the ranks of the regular full and enhancement and start wrecking havoc. Mm. So I, what I'm saying in essence is that the government should not limit or the military should not limit the operation to the bandits. Okay. They should extend it to Full and enhancement or the killer enhancement rather. Mm. Okay, let's look. Uh, when they say things go south, you understand what it means? That there's going to be a problem. How prepared do you think the police or the military or even the amateur in this area? Uh, I don't they think are uh, police. Is, you bandit. cannot mention police in this um, respect. I think if you are looking at the capacity of the government to combat it, you should be looking at the capacity of Nigerian army. You should be looking at the Nigerian army, not police. Okay. Nigerian police do not have what it takes to combat bandits. Even the military, we have seen instances where the bandits have defied the military power. 
It's just that it is of recent we have seen rejuvenation on the part of Nigerian military. Mm. Perhaps because they are getting delivery of some, of some uh, military equipment. Okay. But whatever is the situation, whatever is the reason, it's a work on development that Nigerian military is decimating bandits. And my own prayer and my own quest is that they should sustain it and not just sustaining it, they should not limit it to the military, uh, sorry, bandits. They should extend it to killer henchmen. They should extend it to killer henchmen. Yes, because even Mr. President himself, our acknowledge that we have full henchmen who come from other uh, foreign countries into Nigerian uh, territory with sophisticated weapon and they wreak havoc. We are in a situation where a Fulani that goes by the name of Fulani Nationality Movement attempted assassination on a city governor of Benue State. Mm. As we speak, nobody has been arrested, nobody is under prosecution. So until we start seeing effort of the government in combating particularly Fulani henchmen, for me, the government has not started. Look at the one million march expected um, uh, that is being organized by all the self-determination groups in the southwest, south, south, yeah, the, south east, the and uh, middle west. The reason is because of the excesses of the full enhancement. And the UN General Assembly is starting, I think, today. Yes. So, if you look at the reasons that are used to, for that one million match, it ranges from the federal, the Lakazaki attitude of federal government in addressing excesses of the headers. Mm. It borders on this fraudulent constitution we are operating. We are, we are operating. It borders on the federal government refusing to proscribe and tag a uh, full and enhancement terrorist group. But if you look at it, Global Terrorism Index says that the full and they are the fourth most dangerous terrorist organization in the world. Is, full and is, is the full and different from Miesiala? I think the government have a responsibility to isolate the law-abiding members of Miesiala and the full and killer full and enhancement. Because if they don't do that, they stand the risk of having all the full and needs because being stigmatized. Because we're saying that the world leaders want yes, to Yes, they are tagging Mietiala, they are asking the federal government to proscribe Mietiala. The reason is not far-fetched. Because in almost all the nefarious activities, all the different activities, all the criminal activities of these headers, mm. or these criminal headers, you always see Mietiala coming to their defense. Mm. So, when you see a situation like that, it tells you that this group, they are not interested in harmonious relationship. I think it's on that basis that the, um, this group of people who are calling for self-determination is on that basis that they are asking federal government to proscribe and tag Mietiala, a terrorist organization. For me, if Mietiala cannot purge itself of that culpability, of coming out to defend and advance the cause of killer henchmen, then they should be used, they should be robbed with that, with, with, with that same oil of criminality, of terrorism. Mm. And it's unfortunate that personally I am not available to join that protest. Because for me, it's a clarion you call. Can, you can join. No, I mean it's taking, it's taking place far away, yeah, you, yeah. United States of America. You're a big man, so you, you can. At least you can. Uh, for now, I'm in Nigeria. What I'm trying to say, in essence, is you can I'm, travel out. I'm not disputing that. Okay. But the way it stands, I'm not going, I'm not there. But I'm saying that they have my support. And if I were to be there, or yes, I would have physically joined the match. Because for me, this is the only thing I've seen in the history of democracy, even in the history of Nigeria, that you see all the South South, South East, South West, Middle Belt, unanimously coming together. Mm. And there is even a rally point, because at a point, we saw almost all the governors of, the, of this federation, without exception, whether PC, PDP, Abga, name it, unanimously agreeing that ranching is the way to go. That you cannot continue this archaic, uh, nomadic life. It's no longer fashionable. Mm. And at the, as a, as a, as a, as a point, the people are saying this. Mr. President and the presidency is saying it, a different thing. Okay. That is why people talk about the attitude of the presidency and Mr. President. Because how can you tell me that you have released five billion to your home state, Katsina State, yes. to do ranching? Yes. No, he approved 
6.25 billion for ranching in his state, I mean State. As we speak, 5 billion out of that total sum have been released. And if you want to be sincere, if you want to be diplomatic, if you want, if you want to be patriotic, you look at where is the epicenter of this crisis. I'm from Delta State. I cannot tell you that Delta State is the epicenter, and as such, you should give that money, you should start the pilot scheme with Delta State. But we all know that the, the, the epicenter of it is in Benway. So if you need to address it by way of in, uh, money, uh, monetary intervention to build ranches, you need to start from Benway. And we are seeing the situation where the Benway governor has been the most outspoken governor in terms of this. So that's why people tend to see Mr. President have been biased. And unfortunately, every time you see anybody speaks, the government use, try to use instrumentality of, of states. I mean the police, the army, the navy, the DSS to start hounding, arresting, intimidating such person. As exalted as the former uh, that uh, deputy, well, um, yes, that former uh, naval officer, okay. with the, with his status in the society, he was threatened. DSS invited him. I think Father now represented him the other day. Even China Television, as renowned, uh, renowned as China Television, they are under probe, under threat by NBC for interviewing Autumn and that retired naval, naval officer. So can we continue like this? That's why I encourage Nigerians, particularly the South and the Middle Belt, to go to that UN General Assembly and regulate the opinion. Let the world know that we are no longer comfortable with this uh, with this status quo. Let the government it will help, help. It will help. In what way? It will help. I think South Sudan or so about ten years ago. Um, UN are not particular. I think it's South Sudan or Sudan. The UN came and supervised a referendum. So if Mr. President know that he and his kinsmen cannot cohabit with others, the right thing to do is to do a referendum. Marriage is not by force. I'm not saying it's a must, you must, Nigeria must, must divorce. And in the same way, it is not a must, Nigeria must remain together. Mm. There's nothing sacrosanct about Nigeria. Mm. Because by providence, there's nothing as superior as providence, there's nothing as superior as God. In the wisdom of God, in the wisdom of providence, Nigerians are created different people by God's wisdom. You see how some man he speaks in this uh, distinct language. It's God that gave him that wisdom. You see a Yoruba man, he speaks his dis, uh, distinct language. You see an Igbo man, he speaks his distinct language. And you look at other minority ethnic groups, that have their different languages, culture, religion, name it. So on that basis, they are created different people. That notwithstanding, through harmonious and agreement, harmonious relationship and agreement, you can decide to come together under one umbrella called Nigeria. But when the people are saying we don't want to continue existing under the platform of Nigeria, you should get an opportunity to decide. That's where the problem lies. Okay. That's why people like us, we cannot force on the Kalo. We cannot force on the Bo because you have a right to say, I do not want to become uh, uh, remain in this country called Nigeria. Come and come to think of it. The UN Charter where Quick Nigeria is a single entity to talks about self-determination. So if Nigeria as an entity knows that they are not interested in self-determination, why not pull out from that treaty? So it does it not make you see a government that is hypocritical? Okay. You are you have an agreement and you are energy on it. Mm. Okay. We saw Brexit. Not all Britain supported Brexit. We saw how about two uh, 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 prime ministers resigned. At the point they were talking about Brexit with deal and without deal. At the point it was consummated, it was achieved. So it doesn't mean that everybody has to align and agree with an opinion. Whether your opinion is superior or inferior, you have a right to eat. I think that is where our government is getting it wrong. 100 days of uh, Twitter, uh, how long has the government succeeded? Is it part of that injustice we are talking about? Do you know how many Nigerians that their businesses have suffered as a result of Twitter operation being banned in Nigeria? There are some persons that we decide not to bypass the network through VPN and they will wait for government to make a pronouncement of lifting the ban. Mm. So what we are saying is, if this thing were to be affecting government operation, government um, um, governance in terms of federal government and state government, you would have seen the sweetness with which they would have resolved it and allowed Twitter to be operating with the speed of light. But because it affects the common man, the Nigerians on the streets, they will not do it.
Okay. Look at the sweep now with quick they deploy um, armed military personnel to take a lucky target. Up to today, there are so many puzzles unanswered as to who order shooting. Okay. Who deployed military personnel? Who um, all the CCTV uh, camera and all that? And you say we are in a democracy. A democracy where you don't have justice, there's no equity, there's no fairness. Democracy is built on rule of law. As we speak, rule of law is prostrating before Mr. President. He's lined up before Mr. President. That's why you see a court will give judgment. The president will be picking and choosing who trying to obey and who trying not to obey. And you say we are protecting democracy. Finally, finally, Mr. Final say is that our government should learn from developed democracies. And they should allow the rule of law to prevail because democracy is anchored on rule of law. Justice, equity, and fair play. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, very good morning. I know there's an agitation. Normally, a human being needs to agitate. There is, there is. Or our perceived rights or obligations. There is. And let's uh, leave all, all the agitations. Let's move to the story of the day. I should leave the agitation. And okay, you want, you want to agitate. Okay, let me. Let's, I let's also want to. Uh, I have never heard, heard my voice on this okay. issue of now, but I believe, in as much as. My colleagues have come open, have come out openly to complain about their numbers being 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 deleted on the platform. So I believe I want to believe what the management said. Do do to them to them. They said it is a technical issue. So please, whatsoever that has to do with technicality of this issue, please should be resolved yeah, because be because we cannot yeah. come here. As I yesterday, you can see the rain that fell. Though we still had secret time, just to be here. Now what if tomorrow DSS or Nigerian Army or police arrest us now? What is our fate? We always come here to risk our life just for the fact that see, our voice should be heard both here in Nigeria and in the diaspora. So please, your, the management should also please support us. It is not, it, to me, I don't see where someone would drop his or number and then his, his, uh, the number in return is being deleted. You will not even, even, even you are, you, you are, you're not even encouraging the person. Thank you for Thank you very thank much you. Uh, for airing your view on that. Uh, terrorists uh, from Niger State are moving south, <laughs> to the southwest. What do you foresee? Because you know that bandits have all this while been causing uh, problems in the north. They are moving south now. What do you expect from the government and also from the people? I don't expect anything from the government. I don't expect anything from the I, I don't because you don't expect that the, the people from one sense, it. the government has never done anything. So why would you expect anything from a failed system, from a government that cannot even protect our institution? Yesterday, Kogi State, did you see the invasion by government? How, how possible is that? Government went to Kogi State, Kaba, medium prison, and then released about 246 inmates. Why can't government defend our, our own constitution? Oh, sorry, our own institution. Now, talkers of the common man on the streets. I'm saying it because I don't expect anything from the government. What I know is I would, to some extent, I would make sure I defend myself and God will defend me. Yes. Against bandits. You Against, you yes. I don't want to do I would defend myself you have, you have to some extent. I don't, you, you, you should not ask me that. I would know I would defend myself because now you, your question was, am I expecting the government to defend me? I'm not expecting the government, even, even, even the government uh, agents, the government agents themselves, government of of, of, of which themselves cannot even defend themselves. Talk less of now defending the old territorial, the old territorial, uh, uh, the territorial bounds, uh, committees. In Nigeria, I, I didn't see the truth is now everybody Nigeria has not got to a stage whereby if you sleep, look for stick, sleep with stick. Should in case you hear anything, you know where you to hear strike. A for the seven, you use your stick and block. My brother, I don't want to know, I don't want to know whether it's a case for the seven. But the truth of the matter is, is as it stands now, nobody is relying on any government to defend you. If can you rely on government? Nobody is relying on any government. You sleep with your one eyes closed. Don't sleep with your two eyes closed. This is Nigeria. Anything can happen. Even the president, don't be surprised tomorrow, the president can be whisked away from Russell Rock. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. A PDP senator was whisked, was whisked away in, in, in this state, equity state. So what, so, sir, and these are the people making the law. 
If if people that mess the law for us can be whisked away, what is your hope of me and you? So it is only God and myself I can defend. I can defend myself to some extent. To some extent. Because the way Nigeria is now, Nigeria is sitting on a time bomb. It would it will soon explode. Mm. That is it. Now somebody is saying that if you people have iron bars on your doors and windows, nothing can happen to you. Iron bars, yeah, are they are they no explosive that can that that can put on a sunny go as that. Sunny go as it. Now how did they how did the DSS evict Sonic Bow's house? Uh, see if bandits could if bandits could go down Air Force jets. Oh yeah, what is iron iron door? What if bandits could jump network to jump telecommunications in Nigeria just to strike? What is what is iron door? But the truth is, bit we got on our side, and then and then you should. The Bible said, watch and pray. So once you watch and pray, also be vigilant. Be vigilant. That is Nigeria because now nobody is safe in this part of the world again. Everybody is living at risk. Nobody is nobody is sleeping. Nobody is nobody is, nobody is is also relaxed. They are fine. That the security agency are there to protect me. Even the security agents are there. Can they protect themselves? Hundred days of Twitter. Today is hundred days of Twitter. Uh, as the government succeeded in stopping fake news. The government has not succeeded. Fake news. Like, there's, there's no fake news anywhere. There's, the no fake news. there's no fake news. It is only the government that, it is only when the government come, comes out with lies. There's no fake news anywhere. Whatever news you see on net, it's real. It is when government wants to counter it. Mm. Eh? There's, there's, okay, now, yesterday now, the, the, the Kogi prison uh, jailbreak. Now, the Minister of the Minister of the Minister of Interior, Ogbani Rauf, he said, as I yesterday, after the jailbreak, about 50 inmates have returned back to the prison. I've, I've willingly Why did they, okay. Uh, uh, I've, I've, willingly I've brought, uh, bring back to them, themselves back. That, okay, fine, oh, this is what we did. Do. Now, is that, all, is that all not fake news? In Nigeria, yeah. Is, is, is that not fake news? I said, every fake news you see on social media, it is government of the day that, that, is, that is portraying that fake, fake news. Come, ordinarily, media houses don't carry fake news. Now, is that not a fake news? How can it tell us that people that have been, people that have been yearning, looking for medium to escape, now had the freedom to escape, and now is not coming to tell us that 50 persons returned yesterday willingly without any force, without them being arrested. That one are number one fake news. Now number one fake news in, in this country. We, we know this. So see, you should not so let the president not come and not come on here and start telling us that that was that was it. There's fake news. The present government of the day is the anchor and the author of fake news. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Charles, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. This one you are doing like this. I hope everything is well. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling too fine. Yeah, you are getting. You are getting plumpy. I can see. <laughs> you are adding weight. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, how, how does it feel? How possible is it? Okay, guys. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody is asking. It's not, it's, is it sure that people can feed, feed three months and three square meals a, a day in Nigeria? In Nigeria? For where? For this country? No, there are people that feed. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, when you say there are people... Not, I'm not among them, but I know, I know people. You and I know the people that can feed. Even, what are you... As you speak that three people that can feed... Some people that can, some people can feed three square meals a day. Yes, I believe that. Also believe that some people that can travel every day from Lagos to Abuja just to go for work or to work. But there's nothing you can tell me that the average Nigerian, when you divide this country, if we're 100, only 20% can feed themselves three times a day, as it stands now, in this present dispensation, because nothing is working. So those people you think and you thought that they can feed themselves very well, these are people that might have attached themselves, hopefully, is to this Is it lack way. of finance or lack of food? Lack or of finance. Food, food it's, 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 it's when you have the money that you buy food. If is it, is it the high, high in prices of goods? There is nothing like high price. Both high, 
in terms of forget about the high price of goods now. When you have the money, the price of goods wouldn't be a problem to you. But you don't have money. Okay, as of yesterday, ordinary dollar dollar is five hundred and fifty naira per one. Five hundred and fifty naira per one in this country. Now, if you are talking about the price of goods, to me it's not even the price. Because if the price is high, when you have the money, you can buy it. But there's no money in circulation. There's nothing. Okay. They, uh, yes. That, so only few can feel themselves. Thanks I feel we stop pupils from sitting for WAEC exams in Southeast. Who? I feel we. Why not? Uh, for is that is that the movement? Is that what it stands for? I know. Uh, even that is not what it stands for. If you are talking about IPOB stopping, how genuine is that news? Now, for how many months? When you go to eastern parts of this country, how many months have these our people, these our children, stayed at home without going to school? What exactly do you want? It's as the same thing as you want to write the exams. You took a child to an exam hall. You are the teacher. You are the one that will still write the exam for him. It's almost the same thing because they, they, they read nothing. They, they, they know nothing upstairs. I was, a semester was supposed, I don't know what they call it in secondary school because it has been long, we left since 2001. Uh, sorry, two, uh, 2001. We, we call it a term. term, right? How many months makes a term? Three months. Three months. But you find out that a child cannot even stay in school within as an, up to that one month. And you are telling him that he should go and write one egg. What kind of what will he be what will he be writing? You yourself as a teacher, you are still the one making the money out of those children. Because you are still the one that will still write the exam to that as for that children. So there's nothing you can tell me, whether you like it or not. IPOP members, if they should stop them student children from writing the exam, it's, a, it's also a nice move to me. Because it's indirectly or directly, they are also trying as in to make the student go back to the drawing board and sit to it and read their books very hard. Because some of them are not prepared. And you want to tell me that, what would I even write? Even, in short, they should stop everything. No exams until this government is settled. Because nothing is working. Okay, uh, lastly, uh, let's look at uh, the influx of bandits from Niger State, uh, moving towards South. Uh, I, I, was, I was listening to a, a, a senator yesterday. Uh, that, that was what a senator said yesterday. He said, a senator said something yesterday. What did he say? That Buari, Buari should listen. Are you hearing me? That Buari should listen. In the last day, that the kind of care that he received from God, a senator, a sitting senator, was saying this in the House of Assembly yesterday, the Senate House, that Buari should listen. That the kind of torture that is going to be tortured by God, that he will be in front, why them the senators will be at the back. I am giving you a live shot, and I listened to that. I was, I, I pitched myself. So what is going on? So you don't have to tell me that bandits are coming down to South South. It has been long. We announced this. I said I came to this platform, and I said it. I grew up in the north. Those bandits that you have been chasing out from the north, they have not where to inflict. Good morning, my brother. This is my my boss, my my boss, <laughs> my big boss. It's a pleasure. It's yeah, a pleasure, my brother. Now business. Uh, let's look at business. We talk about economy and others. Okay. Don't like now. How does it affect a business generally? Um, thank you very much, uh, my brother. I need to let you know something. That the way this Nigeria economy is being run currently is zero. Okay. That the government has no policy about running this economy. And the way they monitor this forex is too bad. The way they handle forex is outrightly bad. It's affecting you. Seriously, the dollar for a dollar to be 550 naira today is something appalling. It's affecting the business men. It's affecting Even the the ordinary people back at home. Because as we speak today, you can't get the dollar because it's scarce. That's one, for people going outside to buy. And two, you can't even buy and say you want to sell the way you bought it. Yeah, yeah. Because the dollar just changed price at any time. It has no monetary policy on it anymore. It's just growing and growing and growing. Naira devaluating almost every day. And this is what the government promised well, us. Are you blaming the government? No. Oh, sure, who is to be blamed? 
because we, 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 we actually voted them to go in there and manage the economy. But now they are damaging the economy. They are no longer managing it. You can see the effect of it. Now you go to the market, you take 5,000 naira to the market, you can't buy anything. Can you imagine the, a, a paint of Gary now is moving higher and higher? That it, we are something we are buying for 400, yeah, 400 before he came to power, and now we are buying it for close to like 2,000 naira. So you see the you see the range, the difference, and that is so appalling. Honestly. What do you think should be done uh, by the, the government on this? Listen, I want to be frank with you. The government is biased about the economy. If they want to be, if they want to be clean, and if they want to be sacrosanct about this issue, they need to come out plain, forget about religionism, forget about, um, because I, what I feel is like, the government is seeing it like one section of this country is actually handling the economy, which they want, they want to suppress. Because what I'm seeing the government doing today is obviously not what we expected. Well, let's go to IPOB, sit at some order today. Uh, some of the governors are condemning the sit at some order. What is your take on it? Oh, yes, because me, actually, I'm an, I'm an Igbo man also. You're an IPOB? Yes, I'm not an IPOB for now, but I'm an Igbo man. I speak from a neutral point. Now, what I'm trying to Sorry say... Sorry for interrupting you. Indigenous people of Biafra, everybody. Okay. Are you not from that's, Igbo that, Oh, that, thank you very much that's for your opinion. Because that's the meaning of that English, okay. indigenous. If you are from that land, you are indigenous hello, person of hello, that land. Hello, hello. Let me let you know something before we digress from what we were saying. Yeah. Now, if you call it indigenous people, it is an association which every man who wants to be Long part of it, it yes. Is willing to uh, do that. It's right. just your IPB own. as an organization. As an organization, they are not the outright people in okay. the Igbo land. Okay. They are not okay. Igbo. Okay. okay, sorry, sir. Let me come. Are you getting it? They are association sorry. fighting sorry. on sorry. behalf sorry. of. Sorry. 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 Hello, sorry. No, 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 no. We are on the on a pro program. This is is you are you, you want me to die? And this is what makes the program very interesting. Yes, I know. See, indigenous is a language. In the Bible today, you don't need to sign any paper or books as instructed by Jesus Christ to be part of God's family. It is a you confession you made. Paper. Listen, listen. And that you don't is need the to, paper you're no, signing. Confession is made. That unto is the salvation. paper you're signing. In your heart, you believe unto righteousness. When you oh, confess okay. Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, welcome to the God, the Lord's okay. family. Okay, wait. You okay, are okay, indigenous people okay, of Biafra because you are an Igbo. Okay. No, 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 no,
But even the Mazi, which we we are supporting, is going against it. Are you getting it? It's not in support of If you know he's not in support of it. So it's not in support of sitting at home. No, no, no. It's not in support. So why do you yes. want to, why do you want to accept us? So that, uh, those are the things we need to be. You, that is why, you, okay, fine, you've come in to my point. Uh, yes. It's not in support because we are the ones suffering from it. Though the government is also suffering from it, because the income that is supposed to go to them per day is cutting down. So it's actually bringing everything down. But the fact there, if you're fighting a just fight, you have to be technical. Know when it's right for you to approach and when to allow me. So what he, what this is at home will do, it will send a signal. But back, it will give us a good feedback. That is my okay, point. lastly, let's look at 100 days of Twitter. How has it affected uh, businesses? How has it affected the, the Nigerian people? Oh, exactly. 100 days of Twitter, Twitter suspension shut down yeah. in this country. My brother, you know, Twitter is an e-commerce business. And uh, the world today is going on e-commerce. So definitely, Twitter has affected you in terms of relating with your, your fellow being, Twitter has, it has also affected the way we communicate because these are the things, these are the places we get information. Yeah. And what the government is trying to do is to regulate these bodies so that we won't be able to get information about the wrongs that they are doing. That is bad. To me, that is bad. Banning of Twitter for over 100 days, for 100 days now, is bad. Okay. I can't support that. Okay, final, final thoughts, uh, my brother. Final uh, statement. Okay, generally, what I want the government to do, for me, is a government, a legitimate government that was being voted for, whether by hook or by crook, is a government. What I want them to do is for them to be open-minded. Now, this is the time for them to be open-minded and work as Nigerians. What the government is doing, they are being biased about how they treat issues, how they handle the economy. They are being what buyers. They know that their people are the ones that are in front of the dollar exchange when you go to the black market. Now, they are making it difficult for the Igbos or the Southerners to get the dollar because they are the ones that are using the dollar to go outside to buy and come back to trade. That was the business before now. So they should find an everlasting solution to it and make sure the dollar comes down because when the dollar keeps rising and Naira keeps going down, there will be an inflation. Mm. And that inflation keeps rising and rising and rising to an extent that before you know it, you won't be able to control it. Mm. And that will bring to what? A lot of things, suffering and all that. To, to even, for us to even break up as country because a lot of people want to say I can go my own separate way and do this better. I have the capacity to do it better. But if the government comes out now and make it plain to everybody that yes, we are government, we are one. And stop being biased about every issue okay. and make everything right. It will be good for Thank us. you very much my brother. Thank, Thank you, you. Uh, Mr. Eze. Thank you very much. That's wonderful of you. Uh, Mr. Lucky, Edo Nobi Lagos. Good morning. Ed Ed good morning. Good. My name is Lucky Ayaguna Edonobi Lagos. Thank you very much. How is the, how is the yam? Uh, I, I went yesterday. We went for a market of the. Good, good. I like that. Uh, about the yam. The yam is on the high. Oh, I saw, you see now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. You see, I like your monitor, the way you do things. You quickly swim into action. Do not find out. So that our viewer will know what is happening in Nigeria. We must be giving our viewer from abroad. Everything is update what is going on, and they love that. They are happy. I can see millions of people who are watching us here. My brother, God bless you. Thank you very much. My name is Lucky Ayaguna. I don't know the Lagos. That is my dad name. Let's okay, go ahead. How do you look at it? Because this is what we're talking about. Sit at home. I do be tell students not to write wire. Stop them from writing wire. I mean, uh, stop people from sitting for wire exam in Southeast. Like the man I just spoke now, this man. I understand the feeling of this man that I just spoke now, now. and uh, I know many people will disagree with him. When this, when I watch news this morning, a lot of them in Imo were lamenting 
they were crying, saying, no, we can't continue like this. Although they support IPOB. But issue of staying at home, closing their shop, they don't buy their deer, they are tired. So I think uh, uh, I understand them because government doesn't feed them. Government doesn't give them anything they need. And IPOP2 Does doesn't give them to. They survive. Average of Nigeria survive by itself. If you go out, you won't eat. I know what IPO is trying to achieve. With that pain, you can gain. With that pain, that's what they are trying to do. So, so that it's a way of protesting, mm. sort of going outside to go and receive bullet. Mm. So, what I'm trying to say is that I support IPOB, but that area of that area of uh, non-opening shop, because government doesn't care for them, and nobody cares for them. They have to pay for their school fees, everything. So that is the reason why they want to go out. But let me tell you, where that you succeed most, which I told my brother, mm. that if the Igbos in Lagos, the Igbo in Bado, the Igbo in Abuja, the Igbo in Kano, if they can check on that Monday, close the whole shop, come and fetch it, not only the South is, I don't know what I mean, mm. not only the South is, even though the South is, they don't do it. If they have done it for Igbos, done it for Abuja, Close all the shop, close all the market where they sell prepared, all the chemists, all the bookshop, so many things. If they close it, the thing will affect government. The northern people will grow annoyed with the, with the government. Government will force Someone to do something. Is asking who is going to be the big loser, the people of the southeast or the Nigerian government? People decide to be the loser because the reason is that this money, when I watch channel, if television, when they interview them, that what how to achieve this uh, street at home? Because some of them, women, they were complaining that they, they no food, no, nothing. They can't buy anything by staying at home the night, and their children are not being the same. They are the loser. But IPOB know what they want to achieve. But if they want to achieve that kind of thing for me, let them do it for Lagos. If it's one day. Monday in Lagos, the Oba will fetch it. Hmm. If you do it for Abuja, if you go to Abuja, every corner, I talk about transport, I talk about the shop, I talk about the business tycoon, be hope by Igbos. Or if you close Ladipo, two days, you close Alaba, two days, you will see Nigeria government will wake up. Question I want to ask the leaders of Igbo. That day, Buare arrived. The question they're supposed to have asked him, why are you holding our brother? What is the problem? Let me explain to them there. I mean, that's the biggest achievement. Not by saying, uh, give us 2023. Which, who's is saying that Ibo cannot become president 2023? Somebody is saying, can you cope if you find yourself in such situation? Remember, you have to close your, your shop. I cannot cope. The reason is that I feed myself with... With, with those things, government doesn't care for me. Nobody cares for me. So, so are you are you going to say you're not going to obey the IPOB uh, sit at some order? Now they were obeying it before, but when things are tough, things are very expensive. That's the reason why they were complaining. If you take a walk, I watch a channel. Take today, watch channel. You see, people, women are complaining because right from day one, nobody cared for them. Nobody cared for them. Yes, that no, like, the man that just left, the man that just left, it's an evil man. The man is saying that, yes, but it's not good to close shop. But if they can do that in Lagos, I'll be very happy. Taiwo is saying that they cannot do it in Lagos. Uh, hey, okay. Taiwo, Taiwo, uh, <laughs> see, the reason is Taiwo, that my they cannot do You know why they cannot do it in Lagos? Mm -hmm. Lagos is too big when it comes for business. I could remember there was a day when, during the Biola time, when all the Igbos, went home. I don't say me. Well, the people went home. In a week, I was looking for where to buy some pay relief. I couldn't see it. We were praying for them to come back. We are warm. We, we can't leave ourselves. People 
a dough, you're a pass. Let me tell you. Hausa. 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 Sometimes they don't believe that. If you go to Lagos State, how do you see Hausa man? Discriminating now. Got, listen, listen. Come. When you go to Lagos State, how do you see Hausa, Hausa man buying a houses? It's just now. It's very the year before. Renting three bedroom flat. You see, they don't bring their small bag, make their money, throw it back to their. But if you want to talk about President Taku, talk about your boss. Your boss, Ibo, they are the one holding this country. Mm. If the Yoruba decide to go, I give you two hours, Nigeria will mm. I will tell you that. So, Mr. Kaiwo, we love ourselves. If you check this platform, we have Ibo, we have Eto, we have Yoruba. The only people don't have their house, because I'm ready to talk. They, don't, they are not ready to speak to camera. It's a, you have people, you have data, you have uh, Yoruba, you have Edo, uh, you have people. So we are, we are one. So those, if you don't, if you don't lose, you don't gain. See, that I said, if the, those who are, do, those who are lucky, they are short, they will lose. No doubt about that. They're already crying. But the problem, if you don't lose, no gain, which I said before. So what I'm saying. They need to review this seat at home. They need to review it. Okay. That's what I mean. That the president arrived. They should have told the president, why are you holding our brother? Why are you holding Boho? Why are you going around? So it's wrong. So that area, president is wrong. Economy is zero. Nothing is working. People are surviving. But they are sad. Mm. People are surviving. Okay. That's it. Uh, le lastly, let's look at... Uh... The Niger State uh, bandits that are fleeing from Niger State to the south is posing a threat to the south. How prepared do you think uh, the police or the Amoteku or the security uh, forces in the south can uh, handle this uh, bandit? Do you, do you believe uh, Amoteku are really trying the southwest? They gave the, the commander a word two days ago. Yes, they, they kidnapped Kobe uh, Ekiti State. Um, but you know, let me tell you. You see, as they are distorting them, it did not. They are going around with anger. They went to Kogi, break uh, Kogi prison, released 240 images. And there's going to be threat in Kaduna, Benue, Kogi, even Ondo, neighbor country. They will flee to all this area. For our government to be saying they want to go and bring Itapo. Itapo, with the billions we are spending in Nigeria, you want to go and bring it up? Would it up or no? Our bush. So it's to tell that this government is competent. They don't know what they are doing. Why you want to go and bring it up? Why don't you use that money? Give vigilante, give a motor coup, give some of these uh, people. They will look for them. Mm. Instead of spending millions to go and bring it up. What would it up or do? Well, we, look, let me tell you. We have equipment. We have plane. We have men. That can do the job because we don't have government. When the head is weak, the down too is rotten. So there's gonna be threat. Omoteku is trying. There, in fact, there was people they kidnapped last week. Omoteku rescued them. They rescued them out of 12. They rescued, rescued up to six. So they tried. So the only thing is that we need to invest in our local security. Not police in Zafara to come and police police in my backyard. Uru, not going possible. Not to uh, police for Kaduna who come to Ogba here to come and know who is who. So our government doesn't know. My prayer, my prayer, my prayer is let's pray to that. Puare will just say, please, I am tired. Let me go and rest. I just keep a simple job. Few months. To survive this country, you think this will be better. Okay. Our people don't want to work, but with the caliber we have in the north, we are allowing to work. So once once a failure is always a failure. It's Ask a failure. me why. Ask yes, me why. Yes. yes. Ochibanjo can never stabilize this country. Uh, if if we can. He is in the system, he's among the system. Uh, do you remember? If he can, he would have made a difference since. Do you remember when of, if he can? He is part of this regime. Do you uh, hold on, hold on. Failure, hold on. Do you remember failure. when uh, President Travel? You remember when President Travel to to, to London? A super job took by the mandate and surprise the country. Mm. He sacked the DSS. When DSS was misbehaving, I don't have it. But when Wari came back and he saw the Call DSS, so he weak the president, vice president. There's no way you overshadow. They will look as if you are not loyal to the president. 
if they, if if uh, uh, Buare can just rest six months, the country will be better for everything. Okay, that's everything. Good, that's good, that's so good. I want to thank the viewer, mostly Mr. Taiwo. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I will, deliver your, I will deliver your message this morning. Anti KG. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin. Remember my yam, my yam. Kevin, Kevin, Remember Kevin, my yam. Kevin. My yam. Oh, Remember my, my yam. So, so let, 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 okay. let, let me thank you. Let God you. bless you. Let me, let me, let me my yam, oh, my yam. Let me send the account now. Okay, let, me tell you. let me tell you. Let me tell you. Chuku, we are very, very giant thick on this platform. Ask me why. Because of our viewers abroad, if they are not viewing us, YouTube will not do anything, Google will not do anything, and people will not be clamoring about us in this country. So, I greet all of you in Europe. Kelly, Kelly, my brother, Taiwo, Taiwo, I don't know where you are living. Maybe you live in America. Hadja Halima, you are too much. Then, Antinkechif Okaro from Abatete, I'm greeting all of you. Oga Taiwo, Taiwo. May God bless all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then sit back and get the fact from me that the measurement, the person that sewed the trouser, sewed the trouser Buhari put on during his last vis visit to Imo State, did not make mistake. Do you know the, la the reason that trouser become jumper? Two up. It didn't go down well. Because the teller that measured the former Buhari's length, trouser length, Whose name ma followed that measurement, the dimension given to him by the teller of the former Buhari that is dead? There are many reasons and rationalities telling everybody, depicting that the current man you call Buhari is dead. The new man put on the trousers or others gave him to wear. My brother, it was jump up, jump up. Nigeria, wake up! They cannot wake up. All they know is give me, give me, give me money. Chop, chop, chop. Tell you all every day. Provided money is flowing into their pockets, they are ready to die for Please, illusion Please, instead. IPO reality. IPOB has officially suspended sit at some order today in the southeast. Okay, that's very IPOB good. It is a welcome idea. If if we all agree on that, I hope Samuel Epa is not playing double standard. Let me tell you. IPOB if officially suspended. Can, 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 yes, can yes. Not, uh, in support of that, sit at home. But you should know that we said it earlier that even now the canoe was not happy. We keep on make, making mention of it here. That the man was not in support. But the love the Igbos have for the young man was the reason why they sat at home last week, two weeks ago, even three weeks ago. I didn't understand. It's because of the love of it, the love of the agitation. The quest to release in the canoe, the quest was the reason why three weeks, two weeks, last week, we all sat at home. Hmm. Are you listening to me? Let me, let me debunk what Lucky suggested that everybody in the diaspora should close their shop. No. Igbos in Lagos, very, very friendly with their Yoruba neighbors, hosts. We are their guests and we've been always in a friendly atmosphere. We embrace ourselves. We don't fight. We don't shed blood here. Why should we close our shop here? Because we are celebrating IPOB in the southeast. No. The indigenous people of Biafra, people living on that land, must feel the taste of sit at home. It has no much, much impact on the economy. Even if it does, let's say, let's, even if it does. No, 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 no. Nigerians, Igbos, Yorubas, and the houses, they sat at home for over, what? Four months. Last year, during COVID-19, I listen to me. Who complained? Who provided for us? Nobody. Federal government in officials, Buhari and his code, the whole departmental bodies, the whole governmental departments. How many of them? Three of them. They share the food. The one that is left to be given to the promises, they seize it. That will tell you the level of hostility, animosity, and wickedness that go on within this government. What are you telling me? If you woman sit down, sat down at home just one day, okay, it doesn't have any impact to me. They should rest there because of the love they have for Mazin and the Kanu. Buhari that went to Imo State, the, the body language of even who's on there, what's on there, the body language is really, really that boy. All those traditional goofers, riffraffs, vultures, long throat guy, women, that grace that occasion, the body language is release our song. 
But because Buhari is a hater of Igbo race, he, he could not even go that side. He was talking another thing. He was even calling Hope Uzodima Senator Ag 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 Agrigamba what, what was he, how, he could not even produce Uzodima well. They tell you this. Yes, he didn't know him. Buhari was acting on a script. Buhari was a dead man walking. Buhari, the current one, was a cloned being. A cloned being. They cloned him. It wasn't him. If it was him, the former Nobody matchman they took. Nobody is saying no. Me, that is where. Oh, no, no, no. Say, say. Who is the person? Let me answer him. Let me answer Don't him. Don't spread fake news, Mister. Mister President is alive and kicking. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Thank I you, my brother. For, no. Thank you, my brother, for criticizing me. Let me tell you. If this could be Mister. Jared, Jared. No, 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 no. Jared. Jared. Go to your Google. I just tell you how you will highlight it. Google the death of Buhari, real Buhari, and present Buhari and past Buhari. Contrast and compare. Then click image. Click your image on your Google. You will see both pictures. They will bring it out. Google the search to the two the search machine will bring this two element, two pins, you know, two figures for you to compare who is real and who is unreal. We are not fighting, but we are educating ourselves. I want to impart into you that the former Buhari was taller than Ahmed Ahmed Saraki. The current Buhari, the other one that looks like a Bangida, the fat one is shorter than Saraki. The one playing Buhari right away, look at him and observe him very well and tell me what's up, what went wrong, what's, went, what's up. The former major man talking by Uzodimba, the former Buhari, measurement is in Imo State, State House. They tell us sorry for that very one. They capitalize on the measurement taken by the, the, the teller of the former president. That's why the trouser they gave him to wear went up. I don't know whether I understand English I'm speaking, or should I talk to you in Igbo or Pidgin English? Oga, the trousers where the teller, where mature the former Buhari gave, uh, the measurement he gave, he gave to us or them was the reason why, where the trouser where Buhari wear currently, when he visited Igbo state government, now make the trouser go jumper. He threw up. It wasn't real. Because this guy, this current Buhari, isn't the former Buhari. Let us think deep and deep. Mr. Jared, let us think deep and deep. It is not Buhari or God. Go to Google. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, Are you listening to me? Finally, looking at the Niger State uh, bandits are fleeing from uh, north to south. Oga, how is it going to be finally? I don't stay here up to five minutes. Yeah, yeah. I never stay up to five down, minutes. Down, <laughs> down. So let me tell you, the fleeing bandits just ram. I don't say ram. They ram into the camp. That is, the, all of a sudden, they fall into the camp of the military cantonment in Niger State. Yeah. It was an impromptu. They don't know the nook and cranny or geography of morning. Niger Sorry, State so too well. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, good. They say you come down, Mr. Rafael. Yeah, my guy. Who is speaking? Who is speaking? <laughs> okay, two Niger. Okay, continue. Okay, two Niger, my man. How about two Niger, yo? Okay, continue. Contribute. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Right. That image was clipped. Uh, uh, the mirror effect was Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it, 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 uh, you know, he was using, he was a lefty. The, the first Buhari was a lefty, a left handed person. To Niger, the first Buhari was a left handed person, left handed, lefty. While this current one is right, all of them, they're all using right hands. She understands. So this indicates whenever you, you are contrasting and comparing both, you will know that there is there are much, much differences between the two. Are you all right, to Niger? Yes, yes. Let, and, uh, let me, let me. Okay. When, when all the trouble to clone Buhari, they will not make sure the person uses the right hand.
technical problem. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Yeah, Mr. Chus. How was your morning? Long time. I I I I did campaign. So what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. What's Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Father Yahweh, I thank thee, I praise thee. For me, it's possible for me to be here today. I thank thee, for me, it's possible for all of us to be alive. I thank thee on behalf of IPOB, ESN, on behalf of Madden Namdekalo. I say, people be magnified. I thank thee for the progress of seat at home in the land of Biafra. Progress for the seat at home of, in the land of Biafra. Father, I thank thee because Biafra is getting upper hand. Biafra is winning the war. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank thee for all our viewers all over the world that, that accept our, our, what we are doing. Even those that have extended their hand unto us for encouragement, for good, for the Yahweh, I thank thee on their behalf. May, they, may, may your name be glorified for giving them to provide unto us. Be glorified in Jesus' name. I thank thee for Flip TV who have made it possible for us to be here, to be echoing our voice outside. May your name be blessed in Jesus' name. Okay. Amen. I am Mr. Akpara, the new Oko Kondem in this Second Republic of Biafra. Lead by Mazin Namde Kalo and his IPOB government of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live Odua Republic. Long live Sandi Bohu. Long live Amateku. Long live ESN. Long live IPOB. Long live in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Yeah, what's going on? Well, let's uh, look at uh, IPOB sit at home. They have been accused of uh, IPOB have been accused of stopping pupils from sitting for work exam in the southeast. Um, IPOB is not to stop anybody for sitting for work, but it's according to the the, the program, the timetable of Biafra. We are not working according to the timetable of Nigeria. We are working in Biafra land according to the timetable of Biafra. This is the timetable of Biafra for Biafra to sit at home, to show solidarity for their people that died in a, in a Operation Battle Dance, to show the solidarity for the fallen heroes of Biafra, to prove to the world that we are a nation, to prove to the world that we are not under the governance of Nigerian presidency. Live in the name of Muhammad Buhari. We are in not we are not in the control of Eastern uh, uh, governors. The government of IPOB is different from the government of Nigeria. Therefore, the you cannot have two governments in a, in a state. But now we cannot have two governments in a state. But what is going on now? When the so-called Nigeria presidency in the name of Buhari came to Imo State, how many people visited him? It was Nigerians. The, the Northerners, they hired and give the Biafran uh, 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 ties. And the Uzodima, the Nigerian governor, not Biafran governor. A letter of Nigeria, not a letter of Biafra, that welcome him. Okay, all the whole governors in Biafra, in Biafra land, all the whole Nigerian governors in Biafra land, a letter by Nigeria, forced onto us by Nigeria. Uh, is Biafra taking order from them? Biafra is not taking order from them. Biafra is taking order from Biafran government. Biafran government is in Biafra land, not in Nigerian land. Therefore, government, who is the president of Biafra government? Biafra government. Uh, uh, long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live Mazin Namde Kalo. Long live IPOB government of Biafra. Have you seen the Biafran government? You are the Biafran government. I am the Biafran government. Every Biafra is Biafran government. Because Biafran government is a Biafran of democracy. Government of the people by the people. Government where, where people decide where, where people determine. Government where we tell our leader this is what he wants, not what he wants. That's the government of Biafra. That's what is happening now. That is why it seems like uh, uh, people are disturbing not to go to Wayek. Wayek is what? Federal government examination. No. Their examination is coming. When? You could uh, you see it. You watch. Biafra will take their own exam. IPOB has uh stop the seat at home. You said? They haven't, they haven't stopped it. Even today, they sit at home. Yesterday, they were sit at home. Today, they were sit at home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Even not only, I'm telling you honestly, I have called from East. There's a seat at home now in Biafra. So, for the honor of those people killed in Operation Python Dance. 
I thank God that we are honoring our heroes. Are you sure they start I say I'm, I'm sure. If not, not only at home now, all over the world. That starting from today, there's a rally all over the world. Up. Uh, 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 Odwari, Odwari, Odwari Republic, okay. and Biafra Republic, including some part of a uh, 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 middle bed. They are now demonstrating in America, in Europe, and this rally or demonstration or protest will last up to October. So if you watch it, both local and international, Biafra is moving ahead. Look, Nigerian government is like apartheid in South Africa. Sure. Nigerian government is like apartheid in South Africa. Mm. And we, the people that are seeking for our freedom, we are like the blacks in South Africa. Nam de Carlo is just like Nelson Mandela in South Africa. And uh, Nigerian presidency, in the name of Buhari, Nigerian presidency, in the name of Buhari, is like uh, P.W. Bote. Nelson, was in, Nelson Mandela was in prison. Commanding, giving message, and the ANC, I think ANC of South Africa, is like IPOB. As ANC were fighting when Nelson Mandela was in prison, and this and South Africa was dismantled. So IPOB is fighting, sitting at home, doing everything possible by the grace of Almighty God. When Nam Dekalu was in, 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 in detention now, to dismantle the Fulani, Mienti, Allah government of Nigeria under APC. Very soon they will dismantle. We have gradually dismantled them out of the Biafra land. Very soon, all the republic will dismantle them. They will gone off. Then we will get our own republic. The end of apartheid in South Africa came to be. And the end of this government of murder, government of oppressor, government of destruction, government of no human rights, government of telling lies. So they said their minister is a liar. Government that, don't, go, government that don't know what is called law. Minister is a barrister. Attorney General was there. Uh, 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 Chief, of, Chief of Justice was, was, was there. But they don't know what is called law. They cannot interpret law. Very soon they will dismantle out of our own country. Out of the new nation Biafra. Long live Republic they, of Biafra. They are fighting for election. They are, they are preparing for election. But Most of the states. Listen. That's natural election, not Biafran election. Uh, Igbos are there. We have Igbos there. What that? Uh, 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 those people are there. They go to content. Are they not Igbos by by, by, by by speaking language? They are Igbos by language speaking. They are Igbos by name, but by spirit, by soul, by blood, they are not Igbos. By character, they are not Igbos. They are Nigerian. They are not Biafrans. They are Nigerian. They are not Igbos. They are Fulanese. By tribe, they are Fulanese. They are Fulanese. Full I don't understand. I don't understand. I said, by character. Their by parents are Igbos and give back to them. How is it that they are Fulanese by tribe? Now, let me tell you. You can adopt yourself wherever you want to be today. Christian, Chuku, as you are now, you can say you are no more Igbo. And you adopt yourself to any tribe you want it to be as far as they welcome you. By their character, by their action, by their, by their, by their spirit, by their sp speech, they have proved to you that they are not Igbos. Now they are Fulani by tribe, by culture, by behavior, by character, by spirit, by action, they are Fulanese. Now by citizen, they are not Biafra, they are Nigeria by citizen. Do you get me right? Therefore, sit as hope doesn't consign them. Are you getting me? So we, the Biafrans, we are moving ahead in our seat at home. We are trying. We are not disturbing government, Nigerian government uh, 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 movements. The, the governors that are Nigerian, Nigerian governors in Biafra, they are moving. Nobody embarrass them. Ohana is in the Beribe. Ohana is in the Beribe. Ohana is in the Beribe. No, 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 not Ibo. We are not to be Beribe people. The Ohana are the Beribe and Ibo. Ohana is Beribe. They are a free food. Ohanese a free food. They are Ohanese. Now my head has reporter. They are Nigerians. They are moving around. Nobody embarrass them. Nobody fight them. So our government does inter interrupt Nigerian um, activities. You understand me? Thank you. And now, the bandits that are fleeing to South East and Southwest. Look, let me tell you, my people. 
All the white people. They are from people. Clean your eyes. Because very soon they will, as they are entering now, they become commercial motorcycle riders, known as Okada. They will come as ro uh, 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 roasted meat sellers, known as suya sellers. They will become helpers, carrying wheelbarrow, fetching water, breaking firewood for you to accommodate them. Don't accommodate them. Oh. Watch out, they are your enemies. Never allow their foot to step on the ground. In Biafra soil, in all the Republic soil, pursue them. They are murderers. Let me tell you, this is the plan of inventors. They will say they are pursuing them. They will run away. They will ship down to the south to stay so that they can be able to come in. Look, as I told you last time Buhari went to, went to Imo State, I told you that Buhari went to commission nothing. He went to commission nothing, but he, he went to lay eyes with so stupid Igbo traditionals, traditional rulers. We saw, we saw Ohanes Iberibe and that uh, animal, Supreme Court governor, called Usodimma, that Usodimwa, called Usodimma. They went to rehearse with them how they will carve land out for this so-called bandit fleeing. Who, who is pursuing them? Who is after them? Are they not the same government that sponsored them? Now pursuing them? No. Nobody is pursuing them, but it's a game plan to shift them down to south. Now, do you know that uh, the so-called uh, presidency of Nigeria in the name of Buhari went, went to Imo State to go and rehearse with those people to give them land? It's not uh, up to 24 hours Buhari left. Who's the man went to Uguta to go and acquire land? Said the government want to use it. Then the people of Uguta in that community said, no, our land is not for Ruga. Our land is not for, 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 for helpsmen. Our land is not for uh, 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 ranches. Our land is not for open grazing. They resist him. Finally, Mr. Finally what I am still saying, we should start family on our feet. We should start family, we should start family on our feet. To do what? To resist this bandit that are fleeing to south. E ECS, ESN, Amataku, be vigilant, be vigilant to fight them in any form they enter or put them from our land in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live APOB. Long live Nandi Kalo. Long live Odwa Republic. And uh, long live Amateku. Everyone shall live in Jesus' name. I am Mr. Okma, the new Okoko, the Minister of the Republic of Biafra. Live Amas and Abdekal and his Abigo Bigon of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra in Jesus' name. Amen. Mr. Wait. Uh, somebody asked me to write it down. Let me type it. Okay. So, go, go outside. Go outside. Take my room. Okay. Um, well, uh, that was a wonderful one from Mr. Okoko. I have Mr. Samuel F. Young on the line. Let's see if we can reach him uh, just for five minutes. Hello, Mr. Samuel. Yes, Mr. Christian, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Good morning, yes, I hope Yeah, let's look, at, uh, let's look at the security threat uh, uh, that might uh, fall upon in South West, especially uh, looking at the influx of uh, Niger State bandits into the South. Oh, okay. Um, in looking at that headline, first of all, well, it is long overdue that the Southerners generally, as of September, I think September 2, they should have signed in what was called the anti-Asian deal in all the states of the South. That's number one. Number two, for those who decided not to sign it, it simply means they've directly or indirectly accepted or placed the life of their people on a dangerous road. Now, looking at the bandits, the question we should ask ourselves is, who are bandits? Why did we call them bandits? They are not bandits, they are terrorist organizations, they are terrorists. If you check the definition of terrorist, that is what should have been used to describe these people. So for the people in power who play around on subject of conversation by using different English words, bandits, men, there's nothing like that. 
they are terrorists organized, they are terror, they are terrorizing people and they should be addressed as such. Because the problem we have is hypocrisy and register that we are not straightforward in addressing issues in the name we should address it. The same country from members of the Nigerian army planned a war. We now turned it ego coup. Was it the old ego that accepted that that coup should happen? No. There was no headline in Nigeria came and said, no, this is not Igbo coup. You are generalizing on everybody that is an Igbo man by saying Igbo coup. So for you to now come out and say it's bandit, no, there is nothing like bandit. They are terrorists. That's number one. And the government should declare them terrorists and should speak to them in the language they understand. Even if you know that people in government are supporting them because they are Northerners and they are Muslims. Naturally, they are. So, but the point is, they shall generally should wake up and face the responsibility to make sure that they defend themselves and defend their land, especially the southwestern part that the political elites are trying to bring this most accord government to power. They should uh, rip the foot of their neighbor. They should come up boldly and start addressing what they cost. Instead of bringing the life of the people to risk and uh, to play politics with these issues, start saying the people are true to their people. So the South generally should wake up and defend their land because there's nothing you're going to do. The police won't do anything. The army will, will not do anything. Nothing will happen. If they can kidnap a major in MD and you will not hear anything, the plane crash that the bandit dropped, the Air Force jet, the army, the Soviet, the Navy, the Air Force officer that survived, we have not seen them, we have not heard anything. So, some of those cases have been going on in the country. They ship it under the ground, we live our normal life as if nothing has happened. Okay. And the point is, the South should defend themselves with their blood. Okay, um, Mr. Sam, I'll have to allow you go for now. Okay, we've come to the. Uh, we are moving to the end of Barcelona's at Newstand this morning, and it's uh, a great uh, opportunity. Uh, uh, we are moving to the end of Barcelona at Newstand. Uh, so, uh, later. Okay, um, resolving some issues. Uh, we are moving towards the end of Barcelona and Houston. Thank you for those who have called. Mr. Samuel F. Young, sorry we have to cut it and let you go. And also, Mr. Atulia, thank you very much for calling uh, today. Tomorrow is another day that we are uh, going to gather here and get uh, uh, to talk about what uh, we think uh, should be done in Nigeria and looking at the issues in our country today. If you want to reach me, uh, you can reach me on Facebook, Chuku Christian, Chuku Christian on Facebook, Chuku Christian. And also, uh, I want to, uh, we, uh, our, our program uh, on Facebook is uh, E247. E247 on Facebook, Flip TV program on Facebook, E247. And Instagram also, Flip TV NG. A big thank you to the man behind the camera, Mr. Femi Davis, a wonderful man. He'll be standing for two hours. Uh, and also, a big thank you to myself and also, boss Flip TV Biodu Bye for now. See you tomorrow by God's grace.